Hello guys, Have you, uh, if you ever come to Texas uh, and uh, you'll be around Dallas area and you like to fish, this is the must-go place. Right there you can see the Denison Dam. This is pretty big dam here and this is the Red River. Uh, behind that dam there's a huge lake called Texoma Lake and the name of this lake comes from the name of two states, Texas and Oklahoma which uh, you can imagine is a huge lake which is because it crossed the border of two states. This is obviously artificially created uh, 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 lake. Um, uh, how that influenced the fishing? You can see here the Red River which is behind the Dennis Dam. So plenty of fish that lives in a, a Texoma Lake is also visible here in that river. And if you want to fish that river, it's a very rocky river. You can see that rocks on the banks and uh, a little bit of this uh, bottom rocks. Everything like that is um, underneath the water. So whenever you come fish here, uh, be careful because if you drop down your lures too much, it will probably be stuck between those rocks. But at the same time, this is a perfect environment for stripers, which is a striped bass. Also a catfish lives here and the uh, largemouth bass, but initially pretty much pretty good place for striped bass. So if you come to Dallas, this is like 48 minutes drive north part of, the, of Texas and you can get here. You can feel very good here since this place have a really great parking lot. It's a huge one and it's very close to the river. So whenever you come here, come here, this place will give you a great um, um, uh, surroundings to park, eat, camp and everything like that. Um, some people fish also close to the dam. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty uh, deep there. You can stand on the, um, on the banks and drop down your lures into the, to the water. But you need to be careful and have a very heavy rod and reels because if you cut like five, six pounders, you need to drop them up like 30, 40 feet. So this is pretty um, heavy experience. As you can see, you have also a, a camping place here when you can grill and eat. Very great place for fishing. I'm here today trying to catch stripers and largemouth using my artificial, uh, artificial bait. But mostly I would like to share this. Come to Denison Dam, uh, check the weather here and then come here with your artificial lures or natural bait to catch stripers, uh, largemouth and catfish. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the movie. One of the good spots to fish the uh, Red River is this old bridge. You can see the stumps sticking out of the water. That's where the fish sits on the bottom. Obviously, you not, don't always catch the fish, but uh, you, as you can see, there's a lot of stumps. On one side is an advantage because fish hang out around them and look for the smaller fish to hunt. On the other side, you have to be careful because you can you might stack your artificial lure right there and then there's no way you can walk on the other side. Uh, so be careful, we don't want to leave a lot of uh, uh, lines or hooks in the water because it's not good for the underwater life. Uh, to find this place, just if you look at this one, that's where the uh, dam is. That's where is the uh, deep, that's where the river is and you just walk down here and you walk here. You need the waders to steer in the water. What I use here usually is this kind of lure. This is the uh, shad um, uh, that you can get, get anywhere, Cabela's, uh, Bass Pro, any fishing stop, store that sells rules, uh, uh, lures, they have those. That's very effective. I caught few big stripes, stripers here with that fish. That also works in South Padre Island for some reason. Uh, so I would like to you to encourage you to buy this kind of artificial lures and just explore this spot. GoPro. Another good uh, lure is this kind of fish. I don't know the name of it, but I would like to share a hint with you and encourage you, encourage you to use it. 
Whenever you see a great bait and you don't know the name, and I am I don't remember all the names because there are so many different types of those lures, you can take a picture of this and upload that to Google image search. If you use the Google image search, the search will show you the similar or the same type of baits and you can always buy them online or Amazon, Cabela so go, or Bass Pro. So dot, this, this bait used to work here pretty well last year. I caught three or four stripers on that one. So uh, I'll also recommend to have that in your toolbox, uh, tackle box, I'm sorry, and try them out here. Another interesting lure that I found out effective here in the Red River is this uh, little, little wobbler. Um, you can find them also in Cabela's and Bass Pro. Um, the thing I like about them, they don't go too deep, which is because of this part. And you don't have to be really um, you don't have to worry about hitting the stone on the bottom and getting stuck somewhere. And this is pretty interesting lure. Another good spot for fishing is just behind this old bridge. If you go to the dam direction, just right here and try to cast here. And by the way, on the other side, it's Oklahoma. So whenever you go here to fish, it's, uh, it's worth to remember that on this part, you need a Texas fishing license. On the other side, you need the Oklahoma fishing license. So if you don't want to get in trouble and you want to both, you don't want to fish on the both, banks on both sides uh, then it's a uh, highly recommended to buy fishing license uh, for Oklahoma and for Texas so I will now try to cast a little bit here we'll see if there is a fish here that can bite my lures here's uh, another uh, rule in my tackle box uh, that I use I never caught a fish in this river but I need to admit I used that bait uh, not very often before I brought it here today and I remember in the other river I caught a few alligator gars on it so pretty interesting to consider for your next uh, tackle box if you come to Red River I'm testing this lure here to see if I can catch so in this year I will use that lure more often Another hint I would like to share is if you look at this type of stones that are everywhere in this river and you can imagine how the uh, bait travel on that so for instance this bait goes like this and you, you can imagine how you're fishing so the fish is usually in this river sitting behind like here so you need a bait that can go over those stones um, whenever you see a stone like that in the water and this water is pretty clear you you obviously need to just take your bite a little bit bait a little bit up because if you hit that stone I'll try to do it it's very hard it's very hard to untackle uh, uh, um, unstuck it uh, you can walk to the water a little bit if you have waders, but otherwise you get that lost. So the way you want to unstuck it is, you need to go to other direction. I'll try to do it again. Uh, see how this one, and then it's go other direction and, and unhook it. So uh, when you come here, look for the stones that can catch your bait and try to jump over them. Sometimes obviously you don't see them. So if you hit that rock, you might consider going around it and then unhook it if possible. Go. Another great spot at the Red River uh, close to Denison Dam uh, are those little streams that you can see in front of me right now. And actually, you can look at this part of the river from two perspectives. First one, those streams that you can usually catch the catfish or bass. Not usually, but if you, ca if you look for them, they might be here. And then if you see the end of those stone, 
uh, stones islands at the end it's getting deeper so if you cast right there uh, you you will be just uh, uh, casting in the deeper waters everywhere here you can walk if you have waders but be very very careful because those plants and the life under the water makes those stones very slippery so uh, if you walk make sure that you make a firm steps because you might fall down nothing bad will happen you will just get wet but just in case be careful and i will try to go right there now that uh, right there now at this uh, stones island and just fish a little bit in this deeper water